After decades of dominance in the long-haul segment with A350-1000, Airbus now faces a competitor it cannot match. Boeing's 777X enters commercial service with far bigger capacity that rewrites industry standards. Airlines have already ordered 622 aircraft. This is the aircraft that will reshape how airlines operate their most profitable routes. The question isn't whether the 777X will compete, it's how quickly it will claim market share. The 777X represents the third generation of the 777 family, a wide-body, twin-engine jetliner first introduced in 1990. As of now, Boeing's total 777X backlog has grown to roughly 622 firm orders, following a new deal during the Dubai Air Show 2025, which included 65 additional 777 9s from Emirates. The 7779 seats 426 passengers and features a range exceeding 7,285 nautical miles. This capacity advantage becomes critical when compared to its primary competitor. The Airbus A350-1000 carries approximately 350 passengers. This 76-passenger difference translates directly to revenue generation on major hub-to-hub -hub routes like Dubai, London, Singapore, Sydney and Doha, New York. Airlines operating these routes demand larger aircraft with stronger cargo capability. The 777X's wider fuselage delivers a massive advantage in cargo capacity. The belly cargo advantage directly boosts airline profits on routes where freight demand continues increasing. This cargo capability separates the 777X from aircraft designed primarily for passenger efficiency rather than mixed-use operations. The aircraft's wingspan, when fully extended, measures 235 feet and 5 inches from tip to tip. This represents a 23-foot increase compared to the previous generation 777. The folding wingtip mechanism reduces the wingspan to 212 feet and 9 inches during ground operations. This engineering solution addresses a fundamental constraint – airport infrastructure categories established by the International Civil Aviation Organization. Code E designates gates for aircraft with wingspans up to 213 feet. Code F, the largest category, covers aircraft exceeding this threshold. Without folding wingtips, the 777X's 235-foot span would require Code F gates, forcing airlines to operate from fewer airport facilities. The aerodynamic advantage of longer wingspans produces quantifiable fuel savings. Mark Drehler, Professor of Aeronautics and Astronautics at MIT, explained the physics. A wing pushes down on the air. The longer the wingspan, the more air it can push down on. The way the physics work out, a longer wing requires less power to produce the same amount of lift as a shorter wing would need. The 777X demonstrates approximately 10% reduction in fuel burn compared to competing wide-body aircraft. Boeing's design testing revealed that the folding tip configuration requires 3% less block fuel compared to a wing with fixed winglets designed to conform to Code E dimensions. The wing itself incorporates advanced composite materials based on technology from the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. The wing surface area increased from 4,702 square feet on second-generation 777s to 5,562 square feet on the 777X. The aspect ratio increased from 9 to 1 to 10 to 1, producing additional aerodynamic efficiency. Boeing developed a specifically constructed $1 billion factory using largely automated production techniques for these composite wings, marking the first time Boeing produced wings entirely in-house. The propulsion system features the GE9X engines, currently the most efficient high-thrust commercial turbofans ever built. Each engine measures approximately 11 feet wide with 16 fan blades. These engines move enormous amounts of air for superior efficiency, pairing with the long composite wings to offset the extra weight added by the folding mechanism. The folding mechanism represents engineering complexity unprecedented in commercial aviation. An 11-foot hydraulic actuator system rotates the wingtips from vertical ground position to the extended flight position. The folding movement completes in approximately 20 seconds. Electrical locking mechanisms secure the tips in the extended flight position. 
During normal operations, the 777X maintains folded wingtips while taxiing. After landing, once the aircraft slows below 50 knots, the wingtips automatically fold. The FAA created special certification rules for the 777X because no commercial jet had ever used folding wingtips. They issued strict conditions in 2018 that forced Boeing to prove the wingtips could survive extreme loads, crosswinds and mechanical failures. When the 7779 first flew in January 2020, engineers watched the folding sequence during landing and the system worked exactly as designed. The A350 cannot scale to match the 777X's capacity without structural redesign and new engine development. Airbus currently has no high-capacity competitor in the twinjet market. If global travel continues shifting toward mega-hub networks, the 777X becomes the aircraft airlines rely on for maximum revenue per flight. Boeing controls the high-capacity twinjet segment, a market Airbus has no immediate answer for. Boeing has achieved something aviation had never witnessed on a commercial aircraft. As the 777X touched down in Seattle after its maiden flight, its wingtips folded upward while still rolling on the runway. For decades, only military jets have used folding wings to fit aircraft carriers, but Boeing applied this fighter jet concept for the first time to a massive passenger plane carrying over 400 people. This was the moment Boeing changed the aviation world forever. The Boeing 777 represents the third generation of the 777 family, a wide-body twin-engine jetliner first introduced in 1990. Boeing launched the 777X program in November 2013 to develop two variants, the 7778 and the 7779. The 7779 seats 426 passengers and features a range exceeding 7,285 nautical miles. As of now, thanks to a new order during Dubai Airshow 2025, Boeing's total 777X backlog has grown to roughly 622 firm orders. The new deal included 65 additional 777-9s from Emirates, pushing their total 777X order toward 270 aircraft and cementing their place as the largest 777X customer. Despite repeated delays, Boeing still expects first deliveries to begin in 2027. The aircraft's wingspan, when fully extended, measures 235 feet and 5 inches from tip to tip. This represents a 23-foot increase compared to the previous generation 777. When the wingtips fold, the wingspan reduces to 212 feet and 9 inches. This folding mechanism addresses a fundamental constraint in commercial aviation, airport infrastructure categories established by the International Civil Aviation Organization. ICAO categorizes airport gates and taxiways by the aircraft they accommodate. Code E designates gates for aircraft with wingspans up to 213 feet. Code F, the largest category, covers aircraft exceeding this threshold. The original 777 family had wingspans of approximately 212 feet, fitting comfortably within Code E infrastructure. Without folding wingtips, the 777X's 235-foot span would require Code F gates forcing airlines to operate from fewer airport facilities and significantly limiting the aircraft's operational flexibility. Boeing engineers faced a critical aerodynamic reality. Longer wingspans produce less drag during flight, directly improving fuel efficiency. Mark Drayler, professor of aeronautics and astronautics at MIT, explained the physics. A wing pushes down on the air. The longer the wingspan, the more air it can push down on. The way the physics work out, a longer wing requires less power to produce the same amount of lift as a shorter wing would need. This aerodynamic advantage translates to quantifiable fuel savings. The 777X demonstrates approximately 10% reduction in fuel burn compared to competing wide-body aircraft. Boeing's design testing revealed that the folding tip configuration requires 3% less block fuel compared to a wing with fixed winglets designed to conform to code E dimensions. The wing itself incorporates advanced composite materials based on technology from the Boeing 787 Dreamliner.
The wing surface area increased from 4,702 square feet on second generation 777s to 5,562 square feet on the 777X. The aspect ratio, the relationship between wingspan and wing area increased from 9 to 1 to 10 to 1, producing additional aerodynamic efficiency. Boeing developed a specifically constructed $1 billion factory using largely automated production techniques for these composite wings, marking the first time Boeing produced wings entirely in-house rather than outsourcing. The folding mechanism represents engineering complexity unprecedented in commercial aviation. An 11-foot, 3.5-meter-high hydraulic actuator system rotates the wingtips from their vertical ground position to the extended flight position. The actuation system was manufactured by Liebherr Aerospace. The folding movement completes in approximately 20 seconds. Electrical locking mechanisms, which only disengage when powered, secure the tips in the extended flight position. The system incorporates multiple redundancies and safety interlocks. Boeing designed the wingtip control switch to intuitively match the physical direction of the tip's movement. A simple flip from vertical position to horizontal position initiates the extension process. During normal operations, the 777X maintains folded wingtips while taxiing. Pilots monitor wingtip position through new iconography on the engine indicating and crew alerting system, or EICAS display. The system automatically alerts flight crews if wingtips are not properly positioned. The aircraft cannot legally take off unless both wingtips are fully extended and locked in place. Boeing programmed the flight control systems to physically prevent takeoff with folded wingtips. After landing, once the aircraft slows below 50 knots, the wingtips automatically begin to fold. This automation reduces pilot workload and eliminates human error in the sequence. The FAA had to create special certification rules for the 777X because no commercial jet had ever used folding wingtips. They issued strict conditions in 2018 that forced Boeing to prove the wingtips could survive extreme loads, crosswinds and mechanical failures and that the jet physically couldn't take off unless everything was locked. When the 777 first flew in January 2020, engineers watched the folding sequence during landing and the system worked exactly as designed, removing the biggest technical doubt. Other companies like Saab and Airbus have patented folding wingtip ideas, but none have brought them anywhere close to certification. Boeing remains the first to turn this concept into a real, commercially viable system. Inside, the 777X offers a wider cabin than previous 777s by using thinner walls and better insulation, allowing 10 abreast seating with 18-inch seats and 787-style upgrades, like larger windows and improved humidity. The GE 9X engines are the largest commercial turbofans ever built, each about 11 feet wide with 16 fan blades. They move enormous amounts of air for better efficiency, pairing with the long composite wings to offset the extra weight added by the folding mechanism. The program has cost over $5 billion so far, with delays pushing deliveries past 2025 and leaving the jet's long-term commercial success still uncertain.